my first one is if I want to work in the medical field yeah. and I'm not as smart, but I still want to help people, what are my options? I know I can be um, and all that, but what are they? What, what else can I do? It's, the good thing is, you know, the medical world is such a big world. There's something for everyone. So, you know, you can either do nursing, um, you can uh, do other kind of, uh, uh, you can do pharmacy, which they also have in UBD. Um, and you can be a technician. You can be a technician in different specialties as well. You can be a technician for the heart world or cardiology, or you can be a technician in eye or ophthalmology, or you can even uh, go into courses like allied health training, such as, you know, for us, we have uh, optometry, you know, where um, they uh, help us kind of refine your prescription and, you know, help prescribe patching and things like that for the kids or orthoptics as well, um, where they help with the, uh, they help uh, kind of guide us with the alignments of your eyes and stuff and your eyes are not straight. So there's so many things that they can go into, like even radiology, like for example, uh, for imaging. Uh, you can be a radiographer, you know, people who take um, your pictures for x-rays and stuff or scans and things like that. So you can do that too. Um, yeah, there's just a wide range. You can look it up online. There's so many options for you. Which one is the most fun and easiest to get in? I'm asking I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Depends what she likes, you know. There's, as I said, there's one for... You know, every everyone, I think, you know, it caters to such a wide variety of personalities and abilities that, you know, you can choose anything. And, and I, I want to be uh, very, uh, so I, I don't want to be uh, condescending here. Well, what I meant about, um, you know, if I'm not smart enough to be a doctor, uh, you know, I'm, I'm quite sure there are nurses and uh, and medical professionals that are non-doctor who are equally, and if not, smarter than doctors as well. But they're just intelligent mm. in a very different way. Yeah, like, or they're um, academics who like a particular um, field. Um, like, for example, you can have academics or PhDs in, like, um, in our sub, uh, in, in allied health professionals, for example, people who work alongside doctors. As you rightly said, actually, quite a lot of them do have PhDs, and a lot of doctors don't have PhDs. Right. So, yeah, so it depends. Mm. Well, what can you um, share with us about the profession of the nurses? Uh, what, what are the, some Sorry? Of the things that, the, the, the nurse profession, what, what are some of the things that uh -huh. uh, people don't know about you know, what a nurse does? Um, they do so much like, you know, um, and what, what one thing I think that a lot of people don't know is that nurse can also special, nurses can also specialize. So you can have, um, so in the UK, um, when I was there, we even had nurse practitioners. So you have nurse specialists in particular specialties. So we had nurse practitioners in cardiology, in ophthalmology even. Um, and in Singapore as well, we had a few like nurses who specialize particularly just in eyes. And they do a lot, like I said, you know, um, and there are nurses who do only ward work or clinic work. So, um, again, even in the world of nurses, there's a lot of variety there too. So, yeah, I think that's one thing that a lot of people don't know. They, they just think that nursing after training, you go to the wards, like, you know, where you see the nurses are. But they don't realize that, you know, the nurses also specialize in whatever field that they want to go into. Uh, how, how about the myth of... Uh you know, nurses being gender specific. You know, uh, you know, if if I'm a guy, uh, you know, would, would I should I be ashamed to uh, even call myself a nurse you know, or study to be a nurse? No, if people make fun of it. Of right? course not, <laughs> because it's such a uh, no, not anymore. Not yeah, well, help not, to, not help us to debunk because anyway, we've got. I mean, that's not true um, because we do have a lot of um, male nurses too um, and they're quite proud um, and they are not ashamed by it and they don't think it's a feminine job. 
And we even have these male nurses uh, get upgraded to become sisters. I yeah, know that sounds weird, right? But, um, <laughs> you know, we also have kind of high ranking, um, you know, kind of male nurses too. And they're very proud of their roles. So no, I don't believe in this, but I guess it, it's probably, it, it comes down to kind of uh, the traditional aspect of it. You know, many, many years ago, uh, that's uh, where you get nurses, right? You know, mostly females, especially during the war at that time. And males were the doctors, right? But now there's no such thing as this predefined gender for whatever job it is. I think now it's open very much so to anyone. So, so what's the ratio in uh, the hospital uh, in terms of nurses, uh, for nurses? nurses female? Is it 50-50 or is it still more female? No, no. Uh, a lot more females than male. I'm not really sure what the percentage is, uh, but in in our center, for example, it's still predominantly female. Right. So, is it something yeah. an area that needs some shake up, some changes? That you know, we could encourage more males to uh, consider this. I think it is profession. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. And and you know what? The good news is, it's already changing. In a in the emergency department, you'll see a lot more male nurses there. So it really depends because maybe some specialties attract, you know, more male nurses than other specialties. So I think it is already changing because my, my cousin is a male nurse and he, t- he told me that they, there were a lot more male nurses when he was training than before. So I think now times are already um, changing, which is good. That's very nice to hear. Mm. And, um, it's something for me to consider. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I have a cousin, as I said, who's a male nurse, so you can learn from him. <laughs> so do you graduate from, uh, is there a career path whereby, you know, you move from being you know, the best nurse to jump into uh, doctors? You know, can, can you do that? Can you study, you know, what's the next level up from being the best nurse ever? You know, dumb question, really. <laughs> Um, from what I know, um, when you're a staff nurse, you can be a um, senior staff nurse, then you go up to become a sister, and then you can be um, kind of one of the more administrative, uh, you have more administrative senior roles, you can be a matron that's above a uh, sister, uh-huh. and then in the end, you can be like a director of nursing or something like that. This is the hierarchy in Brunei. Right. Um, but do nurses, do they uh, aspire to become doctors? which is the ultimate, you know, price, isn't it? Uh, not the nurses very that I know. Nurse. They're very happy in their roles, I think. I think you... No, it's not. It's not at all. I mean, there are some nurses who want to switch later on. Um, but so far, I don't know any. Um, a lot of the ones that I've met chose the... Part- chose the profession particularly because they want to be nurses, not because they couldn't be doctors. Oh. It was a choice for them. Like they, yeah, they actually wanted to be nurses. None of the, well, none of the ones that I know anyway um, were people who couldn't become doctors. So that's good, right? You know, so, so last question. That they wanted to do it anyway in the first place. That, that's mm. interesting. That's interesting. Uh, what, what is more difficult, being a doctor or being a nurse, because okay, I'm are not, you trying I'm to <laughs> put you in trouble? <laughs> are you trying to get me into trouble? No, no, I'm just thinking, right? Now, I'm not talking about getting into that profession, but you know, like all in a day's okay. work. Yeah, is doctor more? Um, you know, it requires about a lot about a lot more with your mind work, and nurse is more physical. Is it how it works or? Um, I can't say on that. I don't know. Um, honestly, I don't think I can do what the nurses do because they work for me, like in my perception anyway, they work really hard. Like, and it's, I, I see that it's really tough for them. Like I keep, sometimes I do think, I don't think I can do that. Like, you know, that's really hard work. Um, and a lot of them are very much so on the front line and they get, uh kind of the difficult patients before we do as well so i don't know how they do it i salute them for what they do and i find it amazing that they have that strength what i find is that the nurses that i know anyway are very strong like they 
they know I don't know. I think, I guess they built it through the resilience um, and whatever it is that they had to go through. I wouldn't say that either job is easier. Um, I don't know. It depends what kind of person you are and what you can take on, I guess. But to that point, um, doctors get a lot more respect than nurses. Um, so people will push nurses around, but when the doctors come in, they're all quiet and, uh, and behave. Yeah. And I don't think that's fair, so I hope that is not true. Um, yeah, I mean, that's really sad if that is true. Right. Okay. Maybe, I'll, I'll, yeah, uh, so. I'll finish all my dumb questions. Um, <laughs> Ask me happy questions. Yes. <laughs> we have to cheer these guys up, not depress them. <laughs> okay, let's.